This is the Emmy Award winning KTLA Prime News. Well, you know, the thought of a radiation plume heading towards Southern California can be quite unnerving, but what does it really mean? And is there a legitimate cause for alarm? Dave Malkoff spoke to a radiation expert. Here's what he found out. Well, we're here with Dr. Kai Iwamoto. He is an associate professor here at the University of California, Los Angeles. He studies radiation effects on the body. Now, a lot of people are thinking about this today. Doctor, can you understand the concern that's coming from people here in Los Angeles? I can very much understand the, the fear that this kind of an event can cause. But what you need to realize is, is that the radiation levels are so different depending on whether you're talking about killing somebody or producing cancer or doing nothing at all. So basically you get radiation from a lot of things in the world every single day. We all get it. And, uh, and the, if any radiation comes here in the upper atmosphere, what kind of radiation are we looking at? Well, I mean, it'll spread around the globe, and that's, that's in a sense a good thing because it'll be so diluted that an exposure to 20 microsieverts will give you a risk of developing cancers like one in a million. Okay, so a risk of one in a million would be equivalent to, say, breathing LA's air for two weeks. It's that level of risk. It'll be so low that you really can't detect it. And I know you studied the effects of the bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You went over there for seven years to study this. So, uh, so can you bring any of that knowledge into this incident, or are they two separate things? Well, no, I think they're quite related. If it's external radiation, the high-energy photons actually produce a bunch of very reactive molecules, and that causes damage to the DNA. And most of it's actually repaired. The cell is really, really good at, efficient at repairing uh, DNA repair. Um, but some of them are irreparable, and if it's such a high a dose, some of the soils will die. Well, Doctor, thank you so much for talking to us. It's very informative stuff. If you want to learn more about what the doctor was talking about, we've got graphs and all sorts of videos and information on KTLA.com slash Dave. From UCLA, I'm Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News.